Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. This Marian feast was instituted to commemorate the great naval victory won by the Christian forces over the Turks at Lepanto on Sunday, October 7, 1571. Pope St. Pius V decreed that a feast in honor of Our Lady of Victories be celebrated each year on that day. His successor, Gregory XIII, transferred the feast to the first Sunday of October under the new title of Feast of the Most Holy Rosary, since it was thought that the victory was won through the invocation of Our Lady of the Rosary. Although the feast was later returned to the original day, from the time of Pope Leo XIII, the entire month of October has been dedicated in a special way to the Virgin of the Holy Rosary. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let us recall the mysteries of salvation of the Rosary. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Let us recall the mysteries of salvation of the Rosary. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let, Let us recall the mysteries of salvation of the Rosary. Let us rejoice in the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Let us recall the mysteries of salvation of the Rosary. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Let us recall the mysteries of salvation of the Rosary. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us recall the mysteries of the salvation of the Rosary. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us recall the mysteries of salvation of the Rosary. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us recall the mysteries of salvation of the Rosary. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice, O Virgin Mother. Alleluia. Christ has risen from the dead. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. 
for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began to speak. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Raise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men and humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Mary has been taken up to heaven. The angels rejoice. With praise they bless the Lord. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-weighted sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nation. Let us pray. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. And as you reveal to us by an angel, the coming of your Son in human form. So lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. <clears throat> Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence, all mankind, in the presence of the Lord, for he steers forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. 
The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich He has sent away empty. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has come to the help of His servant Israel, for He has remembered His promise of mercy, the promise He made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus has ascended to heaven, the apostles return to Jerusalem from the mount called Olives near Jerusalem, a mere Sabbath's journey away. Entering the city, they went to the upstairs room where they were staying, Peter and John, and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, the Zealot party member, and Judas, son of James. Together they devoted themselves to constant prayer. There were some women in their company, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Blessed are you among women. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary then set out for a town in the hill country of Ju Judah. She entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and giving a loud cry said, you are most blessed among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. How is it that the mother of my Lord comes to me? The moment your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby within me suddenly leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that the Lord's word would come true. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit exalts in God my Savior. He has looked upon his servant in her lowliness, and people forever will call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months, and then returned home. 
Dear friends, sisters, and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to Lord. you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Basilica, Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Kung inyong naabutan yung ating introduction this morning, ating ginugunita ang nangyaring victory doon sa Lepanto, uh, malapit po yun sa Europe, where uh, the Catholic Armada was actually outnumbered by the Ottoman Turks or the Ottoman Empire. At ito ay uh, sinasabi nilang nagwagi ang Catholic forces with the intercession of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. And at that time, Pope Pius V asked the entire Christian world to pray the rosary for that very specific uh, intention. Sa ating buhay, makikita natin na kadalasan may mga tinatawag na reversal. Kung ano man yun, kung maaring economics, maaring any situation in our life, yung hindi natin inaakalang mangyayari, nangyayari. Yung ayaw natin nangyayari, yung gusto natin hindi nangyayari. In terms of our relationships with others, with the people we care about, or sa ating trabaho, sa ating mga kasama sa trabaho, sa ating hanap buhay, sometimes may mga plano tayo na hindi nangyayari at ito ay kumisan kabaligtaran pa. Kaya nga ang marami sa atin ay nagpupunta sa pilgrimage sites of the Blessed Virgin to ask for her help. Makikita natin sa ating Ibanghelyong Binasa, dalawang tao ang nagkaroon din ng reversal ng kanilang buhay, na baligtad ang balangkas ng kanilang buhay, si Maria at si Elizabeth. Si Maria ay isang dalaga, hindi niya akalain siguro ang mangyayari sa kanya when she was visited by the angel telling her that she is blessed and that she is going to be the mother of God. For Mary, it was impossible sapagkat wala naman siyang kasintahan. So how could that be? And yet the answer of Mary after, after searching, after thinking was, Yes, let it be done unto me according to your word. Si Elizabeth, way past childbearing age, and yet she conceived the precursor of the Lord, si John the Baptist. Kaya nga makikita natin, ano, hindi naman uh, nila ini-expect ang mga nangyari sa kanila. At ganun din sa atin, di ba? Kumisan hindi natin maintindihan immediately what is happening to us. Wala tayong control, in other words, to the things that happens in our life. Kahit na marami tayong alam, kahit na marami tayong napag-aralan, kahit na marami na tayong experience as far as life is concerned, these reversals in our lives are part of what life really is. Kaya nga ano ba ang ating pinagdarasal sa umagang ito? Halimbawa, uh, ang pagkakasakit na hindi natin naakala hindi natin sukat akalain na tayo magkakasakit in a major way. Tayo ay pupunta dito and ask for the help and the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag na sana ay, kayo ay gumaling, na sana ang ating buhay ay guminhawa. There is nothing wrong with asking for help. And yet sometimes uh, we cannot just say, ang nangyari sa akin kabaligtaran o reversal, whatever it is, fortune or relationships or feelings, it is not for us to say that it is good or it is bad. It's a matter of perspective. Siguro pwede natin sabihin, what is happening? Ano nga bang nangyayari? It could be part of a bigger picture. Magkakaroon ng reversal. Ayan ang ating panalangin. Kung tayo ay nahihirapan, gusto nating guminhawa. <clears throat> and yet, as part of the bigger picture, perhaps we can ask ourselves, or we can tell ourselves, that God has a better plan for us. Maaring tayo gumaling, maaring tayo ay makapasa sa board, maaring yung ating hinihingi sa mahal na birin at sa kanyang anak ay mangyari. 
maari din namang hindi. But the thing is, I think the more important thing is, just like Mary and Elizabeth in our gospel, and in the experience of uh, Christendom in the 16th century, hindi nila sukat akalain na magagapi nila yung Ottoman Empire na napakalaki at na, na mas marami pa sa kanila. And yet, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin, nagkaroon sila ng pagwawagi, pagtatagumpay. Kaya nga ang Our Lady of the Rosary before was also called Our Lady of Victories. Even here in the Philippines, on Sunday we will memorialize again the Battle of Lanaval, kung saan kakaunti at maliliit ang mga bangka ng mga Kristiyano, pero nagapi rin nila ang Dutch Armada. So yun ang makikita natin sa ating buhay din, di ba? Hindi, ta- hindi laging victory, hindi laging talo. And then we have to see nasaan ba ang daliri o ang kamay ng Diyos sa mga nangyayari sa ating buhay. And I think that is the more important thing. Not so much the answer to what we are asking Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, but to see the will of God happening in our lives, just like in the lives of Elizabeth and Mary. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. With the prayer of the Blessed Virgin Mary as our model, let us give praise to God and present our needs. For each petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the members of the Church, may they look up to Mary as their mother and live as worthy children of so noble a mother. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For for national leaders, may they strive to further justice, peace, and the common good of the citizenry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the abandoned, may they feel in their sufferings and needs the protection and maternal presence of the Virgin Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who devoutly recite the rosary, May they be drawn closer to God through this prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For vocation and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran, and St. Albert the Great. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of Brother Augusto Jute Bustamante Cuano III, whose birthday occurs today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the, of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us who celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, may we, like Mary, praise God, recognize His might and mercy, and remain faithful to Him until death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you sent your Son to be born of a woman, Mary. Grant that our devotion to her may draw us closer to your Son, Jesus, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, which earth has given, and human hands have made, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Lord, accept these gifts as we celebrate the mysteries of your Son. May we become worthy of the eternal life He promises, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. On this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we praise, bless, and proclaim your name. Consenting to the divine word, Mary became the mother of God. Embracing your saving will, she became the handmaid of the Lord, devoting herself to the life and work of your Son. Mary cooperated in the mystery of redemption. Because of this, she stands before us, mother and model of the Church. Now gathered by the Spirit with one voice, we join with Mary and all the saints in their triumphant hymn of praise, Holy. Pinang palang na paririto sa ngalan ng Panginoon. Usahan na, usahan na, usahan na sa kaitaasan. Usahan na, usahan na, usahan na sa Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Mm. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Bigyan mo po kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Say you pong lahat. Peace, peace be with, with you. you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Holy Mother and Immaculate Virgin, you are the glorious Queen of the world. May all who celebrate your feast know the help of your prayers. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the Yotis word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, 
holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Holy, Holy Mother, Mother and Immaculate, Immaculate Virgin, you are the glorious Queen of the world. May all who celebrate your feast know the help of your prayers. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this Eucharist we have proclaimed the death and resurrection of Christ. As we ponder these same mysteries in the Rosary, help us to proclaim them to your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, brothers and sisters, we thank you for joining us in the celebration of the Holy Mass today, the Feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Please continue also to pray for us and the work entrusted to us here at the Minor Basilica. And we promise to pray also for your intentions and for your well-being. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Sagot po kayo ng malakas na amen, ha? Born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Son of God, redeemed the human race. May He enrich you with His blessings. Amen. You receive the altar of life through Mary. May you always rejoice in her loving care. Amen. Amen. You come to rejoice at Mary's feast. May you be filled with the joy of the Spirit and the gifts of eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have celebrated the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and afterwards the, prayer, the blessing of rosaries and religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.